Let's talk about what a great compensation package looks like. Research is very clear that things like pay, location, and hours are considered hygiene factors, things that are important for your happiness, but do not predict long-term satisfaction in your role. Instead, we should look at compensation factors that are more predictive of your long-term happiness. Let's go through a few. First and most importantly, you should think about your own personal why when you're assessing a compensation package. What is it that you're really looking to accomplish? For example, let's assume you're very focused on learning, growth, and development. One element of a compensation package is the con ed allotment. Is it $1,000, $1,500? Is that enough for what you really want to accomplish? Think hard about what it is you're trying to get out of this field and whether that compensation package is going to get you there. Another consideration is work-life balance. Likely you've got more going on in your life than just your job. And you need to have a compensation package that gives you PTO, other time off like continuing education time in our organization, even time to go out and do service learning opportunities. Are you being given the time that you need to have your entire life match what your goals are? Of course, compensation is also important. So let's think about more than just base pay. Do you get paid more for learning? Do you get paid more for doing better? Are you in a tenure-based system or is it a meritocracy? Nothing irritates high achievers more than being paid exactly the same as someone who's next to them who's been hired the same amount of time, who they're working much, much harder than. Look for an organization where you get paid more for doing more, for being more, and for getting better.